Welcome back everyone, this is Captain MKG here. Thank you so much for joining me for another installment of our Let's Play Subsistence Series Survival. As you probably remember from last episode, I died quite a bit. Uh, hoping not to die this time. Uh, I do, however, have one advantage. I do have my composite bow for a change. So we're going to see how well that works out today. And we've got our plants going. Uh, oh, I could use some something to snack on. Yeah, that'll work. And just a couple of those to keep them full. And we definitely have enough water. So I'm just going to take the two with me. And I've gone ahead and decided to leave the rifle in the in the base and just kind of focus on using the composite bow and try and get some more practice in with that. I'm also keeping my eyes open for those sons of bitches up there. Because unfortunately, I don't have the ammo to take them down right now, because I learned my lesson from last time. You know, if I don't have the ammo, don't try and spank the hunters, unless you are damn sure that you can do it. And I am damn sure I can't do it. So. It's just very interesting behavior to see them getting that close to the base and not trying to launch an attack or anything on me. But that's not to say the rest of the hunters won't get their fair shake at it too. Because, you know, they like to do that kind of thing. Alright, so we have our lockpick, we have our all setness. Yeah, yeah. Shush, bear. Okay, I'm just here doing some crate gathering. And trying to avoid your ass as much as I can. That's nothing. So, unfortunately, the north, the southern uh, run through is no longer a valid option because the fortress is being built back there. And I. If I don't have enough capabilities to take on the rogue hunters, I sure as shit don't have enough abilities to take on uh, an excursion out to the uh, the fortress they're building out there. I would need to make sure I am well prepared for that, and mostly well armored and well ammoed, and have plenty, and I mean plenty of health kits. Oh, thanks game. Oh shit. As long as you're not coming towards me, I guess. I really do venture sometimes a little too far up north. Now, as with last time, I gotta make sure I stay on my toes and actually do that this time. Because, again, last time the rogue hunters caught me off guard. And I paid the price for that, didn't I? Yes, I did. So. Kind of learned the lesson. I'm gonna try and not get killed as much as we can. And just try and get whatever we can. Now the hunters were buzzing about there for a moment, so I'm not sure what that means. But whatever it does mean, I know it's not gonna be good for me. It never is. So that also means I need to look into how my inventory is being managed and try to figure out how I can better utilize what I have here. Okay, they're far enough away. Just wanted to check the map. That's going to be one thing I'm going to be doing differently in this episode, at least, is trying to double check the map and see where they are. Because, again, the last thing I want to do is have a surprise coming at me. Or, you know, if I do have a surprise, at least trying to have a bit more warning, you know, than I have been doing for myself. So, yeah, they're not coming down this way, at least not yet. I know I'm kind of double back on everything, but honestly, I mean, at this point, it's, you know, it's all fair game in my book. I've got to get what I can. Damn you, rabbit. So, let's go ahead and, wow, actually not really do much of anything because I didn't realize how late the day it was and how much time I spent yesterday trying to get all my gear back. So either this will be a short one or... That could be just an interesting one. But we'll see what happens here. Yeah, yeah. Click the thing again where I can't get what I need to get. But I am processing a bunch of zinc right now to hopefully get some more 
plates made, so I can go ahead and again, as per the usual MO for myself, reinforce the base itself. And try to give myself a little bit of a safety. Excuse me, safety net from the hunters. Whichever one of them decides to come around. Now another thing I would like to try to do, since I do have a clip on me, at least of 9mm, is I would like to go ahead and try and test out the composite bow. Because I believe... Yeah, I have four arrows, so I mean, not enough, but it's a good amount for what I want to do, which is to test how strong the bow is against wolves. Because the more efficiently I can take down the wolves, the more fat I can get, the more meat I can gather, and... Oh! Perfect. Okay. Oh, come on. Ooh, not bad. Okay, getting there. So the bow could use a little bit more juice to it. In terms of getting the power it needs to really, you know, be useful. And of course I had no more 9mm on me. Ah, problem solved. <laughs> Since I don't see anybody coming down this way at the moment, we're going to go ahead and take a little bit of a chance. Jump up here. Grab this sixer, since I don't see any other crates for the moment. And we'll try and do a quick turnaround. Head back to base. Maybe do some fishing. Probably do some uh, crafting while I'm hanging around. Just making sure no one is interested in coming around here. Although, you know, if I do get the bow a little bit more power, it would be more interesting to go ahead and fire off a few more arrows, just to see if I can't take down a wolf, relatively speaking, close enough to where, you know, I don't have to burn too much of my actual hard-earned ammunition. Alright, let's see here. So again, not getting too close. Just close enough to witness what they're doing. Not really, but I do like to give myself that illusion. Nice to see what they're doing. I can see a crate up here. So we are going to try and be a little bit quieter, especially with the bear. That's it, good bear. Just don't even bother. Perfect. All right, bear is unfazed. So, and I also I think the audio from the last episode sounded decent enough. So, we're once again going to try and record mic audio using OBS, but still using Audacity just as a backup, just in case. And figuring out, you know, just trying to get the best solutions. Oh shit, fuck. Shit, shit, shit. I gotta get back in there. Gotta get back in there. Who's well, gonna shoot me? Shit, shit, shit. All right, you jerks. I know you're out there. Damn it. Wrong side again. What? Out of arrows already? Jesus God almighty. This might be a bad idea. Shit. Oh shit, get down there, dude. Come on, go down. Jesus Christ. Oh my fuck. Dude, I swear to ball. Why is this not working today? Ugh. 
God damn it. Jesus Christ. Okay, maybe that hatch up there wasn't the best idea of mine. Of my... Fuck sakes. And all that blood. He's going away. God damn it. Watch. And of course, now when I'm not in a panic, I can easily go down there and get him. Or, you know, get... Or, you know, go down the crate. Or, down the hatch. God, God, damn it. And those rogues are gonna move tonight. Son of a bitch. So yeah, let's just verify that I think I'm gonna I think what's gonna happen is what I think is gonna happen. Yep. I can get up just fine. And why can't I go down? Oh. I was pressing the wrong button. I need to be pressing the S key and not the C key. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Alright, well. I gotta get my stuff back together. God damn it. Oh yeah. I need to create a bunch of... Uh, freaking parts. Ugh, oh, ticks me off now. And of course I'm out of ammunition, because, you know, it wouldn't be a full day if I didn't run out of ammunition. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get this at least reloaded. It's probably a bad idea to leave this here at the base. I'm gonna have to keep it with me from now on. Okay, let's repair the damage you bastards did. do hate my attacks. But hopefully they're not going to be too common. That's fine, that's fine. That's all good. This is not good. Okay. Rest that's fine, fine. That's fine. It can take another hit or two. Crank that up again. That. Really? Oh, son of a bitch. Craft me a bunch of those. Craft me a bunch of that. Son of a bitch. I don't suppose you shot any extra arrows I can take. No, of course not. That'd be too helpful. <laughs> Alright, so. Shoddy, shoddy. Ah, very good. All the zinc's been processed. And we have plenty of power, too. So, why don't you go ahead and get to work on that. We have plenty... Oh, yeah, definitely more iron. That's for certain. Okay. Make sure the stick doesn't go out of whack with me. Out of juice. No juice. Damn, a lot of juice. Another tough day, it seems like. Hopefully they got it out of their system for now. But man, that was just poor timing. Just running out of arrows like that. Jesus. It's like, of course. The one thing I didn't want to run out of. Alright. So I'll need at least... I'll just take those two. And I need four... You guys... So I'm going to make two of these as backups. Okay, okay. Mm. Oh, what else the honey is used for? Oh well. Okay. So now we should have some. Thank you. Okay. Nothing else is damaged at the moment, so we're, we're stable for the time being. So let's go ahead and crank this back. Uh, let's go ahead and need to pull these out. we got to do a lot of crafting to get stuff done around here. Or, you know, to get more of the stuff that's usable to be done. Oh, that's right. I had ore and fragments I wanted to process. So, 
No questions asked. I need to have my plates. I'm gonna get my scrap out and just crank them out. Wow, really? Out of iron of all things. It's kind of strange, but. Okay. Keep it going. Damn it. Or I guess not. Alright, ammo casing it is. And now we're out of zinc. So, there goes all that fun. At least I don't need to make anything else for a lock pit for the time being. Drop you off in there. So I do need to, you know, go and extract some more, um, you know, actual zinc parts. Or, you know, not zinc parts, just, just zinc. I just need to get more zinc in my hand. Oh, that's nice. We might as well get a lot of this stuff out of here. We'll just do some light fishing while we hang around. You know, since I know that they're not going to be coming back anytime soon, at least from that end. You're fine, my dude. You've got this. Let's go ahead and craft out a few more planks. A few more sticks. That'll work. Because, yeah, no going back. I just need to go ahead and just craft bunch of arrows now. Ooh. This one probably is repairing. Hey, buddy. It's some night fishing time. For, you know, someone else decides to come in to attack. Oh, you're a big one. Aww. Alright, once again... Check this out. Yep, has suspected they've moved. Oh, those guys are on the move. And I don't know where they are. There's that base. Hmm. Where, oh, where did the rogues have gone? What? Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Alright, well, I'm not paying attention, obviously. Well, there's one. And there's the other one. So. Damn it. Oh well. Alright, let's go ahead and fillet, or at least harvest the oil. And let's see here. I'm not gonna move away from the swap. There we go. But I need me some tonics. And that looks like it's another small fry. Okay, go ahead and craft out some more sticks here. Create some more lures. And call it and call it good. Let's harvest you up. And I know we need to craft a few of those. And let me see. I could use some protein, that's for certain. Okay, so planks are made, arrows are being made plenty of them. We have some wood for backup repair work, planks for backup repair work, plenty of nails. Okay, we'll create some medicinal tonics here shortly. And we'll be getting back to the running around. Oh, at the very least, once the rainstorm gets over, I can go ahead and run in my usual area over there. Of course, the problem with this kind of weather is you never know what day you know, what time of day it is, or night, for that matter of fact. So. But I mean, the composite, I think the composite bow did a reasonable job. It just needs more room to it. Or, as I've been saying for several episodes now, I need to create the animal housing, so that way I can actually, you know, get the premium feathers to make even better arrows. But before I even do that, I have to go down. To this, I have to go down under underwater and try to get um, the crystals that are down there. Now, what I'm interested in is to see. Is I don't think the map functions down below water. I think it just functions for the for the surface world up here. So I'll check that out once I can craft the scuba gear, which will be another 
endeavor in and of itself. Hopefully it won't be too terrible. Unlike this fishing. And I, you know, I do know that you have to have the scuba gear go down there because uh, going down and then going into the underwater place, the underwater caverns, there's just there's just not enough air for you to get there. All right, so sticks. Uh, I should repair this, but again, it's still it's still holding out. So, oh good, there's the sign of daylight. Come on, fish. One more would be really super right now, and I can go ahead and leave. Okay. You can thunder all you want to, game. But I just want one more fish. That's all I'm asking. You know. When I see the hunter, I think. Yeah, unless that's a glitch in the graphics. Okay. There we go. I will take it and walk away. So I think that's a big one. Right? Yeah, it's a big one. You're a big one, aren't you, buddy? Yeah. Excellent work, friend. Okay. Drop the gear off. I thought I left those in there. Uh, let's see here. Delay. Go ahead and pop those on, get that going. Uh, craft fuel bricks like crazy. And go ahead and craft these two. Go ahead and get... Oh, really? I can only create three? Damn. Well, it is what it is. And upgrade. Upgrade complete. Haha. <laughs> Back into the pile you go. You grab the ammo casings. The fuel there. Let's go ahead and craft these tonics. Oh, it was actually the leaves I needed. My bad. Now let's see here. Let's go ahead and just you know craft out the rest of the ammo I need. So one, two, three, five. Use some extra rifle rounds. Really? I'm out of gun I'm out of gunpowder. It's shocking to me because, you know, gunpowder is like the one thing I really never seem to run out of, but Okay. Do with that what you will, I suppose. Oh, that reminds me. Okay, the ash isn't full in there yet. Just to make sure we have an ample supply of gunpowder at the ready. Drop that off. Nothing's on fire. Damn it. Oh man. Really? You guys just can't take a break for an afternoon? It doesn't matter, they're coming. Oh boy, are they gonna be out here soon enough. Make sure it's topped up and everything. I guess not. He's probably just fishing. Or pissing. Whatever he wants to do. Yep. Son of a bitch. I gotta remember. Walking backwards, not crouching. I have to remember for next time. Okay. Drop those off. Bring that off. This chest is actually looking a little bit slimmer than I thought. Okay. Pop those in, and oh my, I didn't realize I had that much tonic or fish oil. Good to know for later. Okay, sorry. Uh, anything else of value? No, not in this locker. I'll actually take one for myself just to be safe. And actually swap it because I know myself on the keys. And let's see here. Will this be done? Drop that stuff off. I'll go ahead and just uh, let's see, crap out some more arrows. I won't need all of them on me, so I'll take the rest of these. Drop them off. 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 And 
Alright. Excellent. Craft those. Just so we have some spares. Cool beans. Alright. Well, we can go ahead and get back to rocking and rolling. Uh, after chopped in some fuel there. Go ahead and get some water. So that we can get that on the burner. Generators going. Put you guys in there. Pop that in there. Okay. Oh, that's right. Before we go out, let's just make sure and double check if we can. Um, okay, that one is still there, which means the other one should still be over here in the far distance somewhere. Wherever the hell that was. I know they're out there, and they're not anywhere really near this area, which is where I need to be. Okay. Oops, map. Okay, so we're good to go. Oh, good. A wolf to get the day started. Yeah. And another three. Perfect. Let's see if we can't get two arrows. Oh, shit. Let's see if we can't get two arrows out of Okay. Not exactly the best way to go about it, but but yeah, I, I had to see how the how the bow was gonna work. Oh, here we go. Here's a good test. Actually, no, I can probably get this guy with just two arrows. Oh shit! God damn it! God damn it! Okay. Obviously, the bow needs more power. That... Uh, yeah, I'm shortchanging myself at this point now. But, thankfully we have some backup clippers. I'll use the health kit. Plop that in me. Plop those back. All right, let's try not to be stupid anymore. So obviously the composite bow needs either stronger arrows or it needs more work to be done on it. Either way, uh, now is not the time to be solely relying on the bow for my efforts. That much I've learned now from my mistake in judgment, or error, yeah, error in judgment. There's a crate over there. Son of a bitch. I have to remember that the real reason I made this composite though was to try and hunt down the elk that are running around. And if I wanted to catch live chickens and rabbits, I've got to start making sure. Shot up. I don't use this bow too much. That'll work. I'll take three shots in a bow. So again, not not terrible, not great, but you know, not what I'm trying to look for here, especially with the level one. Again, that was my own fault for assuming that I could take down level 1 with just arrows. Not the case. <laughs> Better arrows to take down wolves. And, okay, let's see him over there. So again, we might have to do this auto work. Okay, no bullets in there. No more shotgun shells. We got. Ah, there we go. There goes the bullets. Okay, and also, of course, with such low health, I have to make sure to keep my eyeballs peeled. Or at the very least, my ears open. 
Because that's part of also what caught me off guard the last time. I would rather not have to make that same mistake again. Mostly because of the fact that you never know what time of day it is. And backpack, you know, your gear bag will only stay there for so long before it disappears on you and you lose it forever. So, again, just best not to lose it at all. You know, that'd be really great if you just didn't lose it at all. I don't think I got this tree yet. Nope. Alright, so, let's see, once we get the rest of these bullets made, we'll go ahead and head over there and take care of some extra wolves. Hmm, that's how I can go ahead and get those resources. Shell or yeah, five bullets. There we go. Lost my sense there for a moment. Okay. Let's see. So again, I need to be on the hunt for lots of zinc, lots and lots of zinc, which I can probably alleviate a little bit if I can build a mining uh, device. That way I can go ahead and get the floor for me, albeit at a slower rate. Oh, come on. There you go. Three rifle, three shots, five bullets. Ooh, that's really not good actually. Now that I'm looking up my nine. Uh, you need to have more than I have on me, unfortunately. Once we find another piece of scrap out here, if we can, I'll go ahead and repair the gun. So that way I don't have another, you know, fatality on me. From my own lack of preparation. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, there's that. Okay. Get me some planks, please. Just have to ruin my day, don't you bear? Every time I try and do something useful, there's always a bear involved. Or there's always a bear on the way, I should say, not involved. Alright, delicious animal. Sweet. Okay. Now, we. Now, uh, blah, blah, blah. Examining my past encounters. It seems to me I should probably be refocusing how I invest my upgrades in terms of all my various weapons. Maybe going for the rifle probably wasn't the smartest move. But I was just very eager to get that upgrade on. So instead, perhaps I should focus I'm trying to upgrade the smaller weapons, i.e. my 9mm. So that way, at the very least, I have a more powerful handgun to, you know, kind of do the last resort damage and use the rifle to snipe, shotgun for close-up attacks, and the bow here. Oh wow, the bow didn't kill him outright. Okay. And the bow here just to do some extra sniping that doesn't necessarily involve the guns. Again, just doing a quick... I don't know why the keyboard is doing this now. Let me think here. It's not the connection, because the mouse is doing just fine. So... I'm probably going to need to replace the batteries in my keyboard, I think. Uh... Ooh. It's like, yeah, I'll go down for something. Very good. I'll go across the way to get this stuff. So, yeah. That's what we can do. Oh shit. Always losing the rabbits. So I'm not paying attention closely enough. And 
not paying attention close enough will get me killed. Not in a fun way either. Is there a fun way for... Probably. I bet you need a lot of money and probably drugs. Not that I condone consumption of drugs. But, you know, having money is not such a terrible thing. Good day for plant picking, at least. Alright. Uh, they're not over there. At least I can't visibly see them for the moment, so... A little bit of breathing room. But again, I'm not going to do too much. Damn it, chicken. We're not going to be too bold in going over there. No. Don't need to go... Oh, shit. Oof. Okay, thank goodness. I was like, please. Not today. Not now. You've already gone over. I already killed one of your guys. Is that not enough? I mean, I'll gladly kill more of you before you try and kill me, but... Where's that coming from? I know that's going to be a problem. Damn it. I mostly want to get this warp before I try and get that ammo crate. Where are you, little wolf? Where is it coming from? I hear you, but I don't see you, which means you're probably going to charge me. There you are. Sorry, dude. Okay, quick hand wash. Get some crates, get some gear. Get some of this extra ore that's kind of hanging around here. Hello, ammo. I'll take it. You know, resources are resources. I can't be judged. Okay. I wonder why Zeke is so hard to find. Really? That caused you to bleed. Well, I'd rather have him bleeding than breaking his leg. Yep, I'm gone! Oh. That other bear must have migrated over this way, I hope. Otherwise, I'm gonna be in for a really. Oh, there it is. I hope we're not in for a rude awakening. Okay. I'm not even gonna bother with bears today. I don't need to make them any angrier than we already get sometimes. Look and scour the region just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Take ourselves back. I see that bear. Scrap. Oh, good. He's fishing now. Okay. Sorry, little dude. But, you know, unfortunately, that's, that's the game. Or crate works for me. See my stamina creeping. Down. So let's try and get this ore that I just saw. Damn it! Wrong places to jump, of course. There we go. Gonna have to work on trying to be more efficient. 
it comes to at least trying to gather these resources in a timely fashion and timely manner. Damn it. I really do need to create that animal housing area. Gotcha. I know, I'm sorry. And also keeping a clever eye up in the distance. We saw that moose up there. Moose would be great to kill. You know, in terms of the resources, I think. Mean. He's been down there one too many times already, I feel like. So we may have to get. Oh, shit. Yep. He's coming. He's coming. He might be preemptively coming this way. So I'm going to chop some logs and try and keep an eye on him. Because he's, he's, the, he's the stickler. Or he's the tricky one. Because when he starts running this way, that means he's definitely going with his buddies to have some fun. Because I can't necessarily be caught out here in the open like this. Because I'll be easy pickings. Let's keep an eye on him if I can. Oh yeah. He is definitely too close to comfort. Yeah. Howdy, neighbor. What you doing down there? Oh, you're fishing. Hmm? Okay. Keep fishing. Yeah, let's 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 keep you fishing for now. So that way I don't have to burn too many more resources for today at least. I can try and keep what I've found on me. And I'll have to do some cooking here too. Get some of my proteins back up. And I don't see him now. He's probably headed back. Yeah, I think he had been headed back already. Which again, could mean any of number of things. Either they're getting their own resources or they're ready. But thankfully, I'm far enough away, and at least on the beachfront property, I can see when they're doing a charge. And at least for the other guys, I can see when they're swimming over. So, you know, a little bit of a warning. Not much, but... Oh, for fuck's sakes. Asshole. Ah. Am I gonna have to do this this way? Thank you, goodbye! Alright, now they're coming up through the other way. your third guy. No? Okay. That's how you want to be. God damn it. Yeah, I'm replacing the batteries. So no third guy. Ooh. That's convenient. Did I leave an arrow? Let's make sure no surprises are coming down the hill. No, that's interesting. Usually when they attack like that, it's usually three of them. Hmm. 
Well, thanks for the extra plat... Or, you know, yeah. Extra building platform. That was necessary and vital. I can try and expand a little bit. Okay. Interesting. They always do tend to surprise me a little bit. Okay. So, let's see what we've got to give up for resources tonight. And, oh, you're already done. That's good for me. Split you in half. Just so we have an even mix going on. Get our iron, zinc, extract. And let's see here. Drop those. And drop that. Anything else I can drop in this bin? New. No. Really, there's no advanced parts there. Hmm. Oh, speaking of advanced parts. Go ahead and see what it takes to upgrade this thing. Oh wait, no, that's not what I need. That's not what I need either. So let's see. As per usual, I need more sinew, and more rope, because unfortunately the available upgrades don't really do me much good. So I'll take you back. Get you guys going. Drop that off, and use some more shotgun rounds, because those were highly effective. Okay, and drop all that stuff back off in there. Alright. Let's get you guys butchered up for the time being. Let's go ahead and get you cooked as well. Top it up. And while I'm here... For the animal housing. Ah. Two ropes, eh? Hmm. Two circuit boards. There's definitely a lot of stuff we can build. Well, not can build, but definitely need to build. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead. Make sure that. Okay. We'll check on that. Get those out of there. And, oh, I do have enough cloth, so bandage away. And can this be repaired? Yes. Just want to make sure they're, you know, all repaired. Mm -hmm. Can't do that one yet. Come on. Yeah, it's definitely the batteries. So, I'll have to make sure to replace them tonight. There you go. Know, after this session, I should say. Alright. We also have some of this to craft up, too. Let's get all of that crafted. Okay, very good. Alright, nothing yet. Water's okay. That's looking good for now. Once these once these are done cooking, I'll go ahead and check upstairs. Make sure everything is looking good. Keep these three on me. And I can drop the plank off for now. Drop that off too. Um, nothing else really to drop off from here. Okay, everything's done. It off, pop them out. And since I did use an antidote, go ahead and reinvest that. Make sure we got that reinvested as well. Okay, so we have three antidotes at least. Drop off the extra stuff. Water's up. Okay. So 
So yeah, we'll need to get to work. On the animal house housing next, I think. Oh, excellent. So six. Split six. Turn on. Have fun. making use of the fire, just making sure I get everything cooked up while I have some extra time here. Speaking of which. Power's on the rise. Mass is at capacity. So, let's go ahead and take a peek here. So again, mining drill. Can't do it. Don't have enough. But I can do the animal housing. I'd like to make sure they're at least somewhat protected. I don't know how well that'll work, but. Let's see. Oh, damn it. 8, 12, 7, 2. Okay, so we can do potentially do that one. Take these out, drop them. Get that to work. Okay. Antidotes. Fantastic. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this sinew. This, those. Crap out a few more of those things while I'm at it too. And I need anything else for this. Nails, of course, aside. Because I think everything can be built without nails for some strange reason. Okay, fire off. Okay, and with that, we'll also go ahead and create... Hmm. No, I should actually probably save this for one of the other bases. That's what I'll do. I'll, I'll take this over to the other base. Finish continue or you know finish building that out. Okay. Guys out. Let's see, is there anything I can do? I mean, I suppose I could build like a little bit of an enclosure. I mean, this is kind of what I was working towards before, building, like, exterior walls, but at this point, I think it's a pointless use of resources. So, yeah, we'll put the animal housing on the other side over there. So that way, you know, hopefully no one decides to come and, you know, take a shot. Okay, nothing, nothing. Nor the nothingness. Oh, and I see them out there. Okay. Hopefully they'll at least ignore this, although I don't know how much ooh, it's going to take to go ahead and burn that down, but hopefully never have to find out. Okay. Oh, wrong crate. Or wrong storage. Alright, so now we have our animal housing ready to go. That off. There's not. I wonder what I needed to do. For the other one. I know this would require a significant amount of resources to get the rest of it up. Upgrades. Um, bars, bar. Oh, actually, two bars. I can do all of these. Yeah, I just need to make some bars. So again, bars require... Yes! Thank God. Copper and iron. Or, yeah. I don't know why I wasn't thinking straight there for a second, but that's okay. No, need to wait for the mass to come back up. Before we go ahead and get started on the rest of that. Drop two off in there. 
Like I said, we'll save this for the other base across the way. And not yet, of course. Lockpick is still good. Uh, no fat left to render. Drop them off. Da da da. Okay, so now it's just a matter of just letting the fuel come back up, getting the bars crafted. So we'll drop these off for now. I won't need them until later, until I come back to this. Put this fun stuff in here. Take that out. Drop that off in there. And cool. Chickens are almost all done. Take one extra liver. Okay, let's go ahead and check upstairs on the plants real fast. Oh. For a second there, I thought the hunters were taking their toll again. Okay. How are you guys doing? I mean, fine. Not great, but fine. Oh. I can also get my plants upgraded too, so I can start manufacturing more of that stuff. Generators are still to go. Gonna run out here and grab a few things in the early morning. Head back, grab the cooked meat, and call it an episode. Without too much death, it's always a plus. Any other crates out here that need my attention? That need to be gathered? None that I'm seeing, so back to base it is. Okay, thank you. Alright, drop. 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 Soon. Just one. Okay, some cooked livers on the way. Cool beans, alright. Let's go ahead and get some extra ash out of here. That's fine, I'll have to wait for more ash to be created then. And then we'll top them up. Best we can for the moment. Alright, now all we need is some live critters start getting more stuff done. All right, everyone. Well, I think that's going to go ahead and do it for me for today. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take the day. For, you know, there we go. So that's all for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. I know the last little bit there was a little bit lackluster, but hopefully next time we can get a few more interesting things going on, like, you know, trying to get some, uh, just some more advanced weapons created and whatnot. So until then, Thank you so much for joining me. I hope uh, you all have a good one. And this is Captain NKG signing off. Take care.